say hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> good, that's good. My name is Lydia, and today I'm going to be sharing a story called The Crippled Lamb by Max Lucado. Once upon a time in a sunny valley, there lived a little lamb named Joshua. He was white with black spots, black feet, and sad eyes. Joshua was sad because he didn't have a mom or a dad. He was also sad because he had been born with one leg that didn't work right. He was crippled. He always limped when he walked. That's why Josh watched while the other lambs run and played. He felt sad and all alone, except when Abigail was around. Abigail was an old brown cow with white blotches. Her voice was always kind and friendly. She was Josh's best friend, and some of his favorite hours were spent with her. But even with a friend like Abigail, Josh still got sad that he was the only lamb who couldn't run and jump and play in the grass. That's when Abigail would turn to him and say, don't be sad, little Joshua. God has a special place for those who feel left out. Josh wanted to believe her but it was hard. Some days he just felt alone. Then one day the shepherds decided to take the lambs to the next valley where there was more grass. All the sheep were excited. As they prepared to leave, Josh hobbled over and took his place on the edge of the group. But the others started laughing at him you're too slow to go to the next valley, they said. We'll never get there if we have to wait on you, Joshua. Go back, slow poke. Do you think that was nice? No. no, I don't think so too. Josh looked up with tear-filled eyes. The shepherd was standing in front of him. The trip is too long for you, little Joshua, he said gently. Go and spend the night in the stable. Josh turned slowly and began limping away. Never before had he felt so left out. Just then, Abigail walked up next to him and said what she always said when Josh felt sad. Don't be sad, little Joshua. God has a special place for those who feel left out. Slowly, the two friends walked to the stable together. They were very hungry, and the hay from the feed box tasted good. For a little while, Joshua forgot that he had been left behind. Go to sleep, little friend, Abigail said after they finished eating. You've had a hard day. Josh was tired, so he lay down in the corner on some straw and closed his eyes. Soon, Joshua was sound asleep, dreaming of running and jumping and being in a place where he never felt left out. Suddenly, strange noises woke him up. The stable was dark, except for a small lamp hanging on the wall. Somebody's here, Josh whispered. There, lying on some fresh hay in the feed box, was a baby. A young woman was resting on a big pile of hay beside the feed box. Both Josh and Abigail were very surprised. Josh limped slowly across the stable and stopped next to the mother and looked into the baby's face. The baby was crying. He was cold. There were no blankets in the stable. The shepherds had taken them 
on their trip. Then Josh remembered his own soft, warm wool and curled up close to the baby. Thank you, little lamb, the baby's mother said softly. You have kept the new king warm. A king? Joshua looked at the baby and wondered who he might be. His name is Jesus, his mother said, as if she knew his question. God's son. He came from heaven to teach us about God. Just then, there was another noise at the door. It was the shepherds, the ones who had left Joshua behind. We saw a bright light and heard the angels, they began. Then they saw Joshua next to the baby. Joshua, do you know who this baby is? He does now, the young mother responded. Smiling at Joshua, she whispered, God has heard your prayers, little lamb. This child is the answer. Joshua looked down at the baby. Suddenly he understood why he had been born the way he was. Had he been like the other sheep, he would have been in the valley. But since he was different, he was in the stable among the first to welcome Jesus into the world. Joshua walked back to his best friend. You were right, he said to Abigail. God does have a special place for me. God has a special place for me, and he has a special place for you. How many of you know a way in a manger? Put your hand up if you know a way in a manger. Okay, let's sing it together. the kids come back just remain seated let's sing that together away in a manger no, no. 